Alright. Hey everyone, this is Chaotic Teal, and let's mute that. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, last time we got the last couple of essences of nature. This time, we're gonna finish the game. There are a couple of things I want to do first, though. And I know I said on Saturday that I was going to be finishing this tomorrow. I had an idea for for the next side project that I want to go for, but I want to start that on. Well, I want to start that this week, but it needs a little more prep time, so it is not happening today. Instead, here we are. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Horon Village, because I'm not going to rush to finish, well, to the final dungeon and such. There are a couple of things that I want to take care of first. One of them is the trading sequence, which we're midway through. Steadfast Ring. Taking less knockback is nice, but I don't generally recall knockback being too much of an issue here. What I do want to check, though, is the Hero's Cave. We should be able to beat this now. We should have every tool that we need. But I'm still not sure how exactly to get through. So just to be safe, I know that I cannot possibly push a pot through all of this. So that is the solution, okay. I wondered if it might be a case where we needed to save aside a pot and then we could open a path for it. There we go. to get through there without breaking either of those pots. But what we can do is this. Interesting. We have five pots and five switches. That'll work. I think we can do it this way. Yep, this should work. Okay. Gosh, I see. 
There's a red warp over here. And there's a Zora up there. I guess this is the part of the show where we require a Rock's Cape. Or at least Rock's Feather. I want to see if that Zora has anything of note to say. I'm traveling the lands under King Zora's orders to find a new domain. But no, no place exceeds Labrinus Seas, so you hear my request? I'd like you to tell this secret in my report to King Zora in, in Lamrinus Seas, understood? Okay. So that's a secret to take back to Oracle of Ages. I love chess. Okay, we'll call that good. <laughs> okay, so each... This dungeon is essentially divided up into sections. with a portal back to the entrance if you reach the end. I'm curious whether those are two-way. True. What am I missing here? I see. Tricky. Also, if you could, like, not do that, that'd be great. There we go. Okay, I messed up. So we'll just reset the room, which fortunately does not bring those back. Interesting. Lots of going around here, I guess. Okay, do the jumpy thing, Link. Okay, that opened that door.
There we go. a brief dip in connection. This could be problematic. Yup. Yeah, there we go. Gasha seed, yet another portal, but we're gonna keep moving forward. Oh my. Hope y'all like this sound. Because I sure don't. There we go. Let me double check. Okay, there's probably going to be a blip here, because I'm going to change what uh, network I'm connected to, but hopefully it won't affect things for too long. Joke to you.
Oh crap. Well, I guess I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to upload this one, because... I was disconnected for just long enough. Well, YouTube, are you... getting the stream? I have to set all this up again. Come on, YouTube. At this point, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just gonna hit the... Stop streaming button and then the start streaming button. And we'll see if that works. Why did that work? Okay, well, this is going to get uploaded as a recording anyway, since there was that, like, four minutes of nonsense, but I guess sorry for anyone who's viewing this not live, because there's just going to be this several minute space of downtime. Though at least I wasn't using the magnet glove for that whole time. Anyway, we're back. So we're going to keep going. And we're going to keep using the magnet glove, probably. <coughs> Excuse me. This seems excessive.
Thank goodness. And back you go. We've got to be approaching the end, since we're now getting to the point of the... Rock's cape. Tells me I screwed up the puzzle. should work for four. I'm left to assume that this is random guessing. Which is not my favorite game mechanic. care of all of them.
The good news is, there are only three more buttons which could possibly be the correct one. I hate these things. They are the worst. At least Lionel's are pretty straightforward about being the worst. Okay, so it's not random guessing, we just have to do all of them. Why even make the buttons then? Okay. Is this a magic boomerang puzzle? It seems to be. I'm overcorrecting there. I undercorrected. Video games. There we go. You've done well to make it this far. But there is a final trial for the true hero. It costs 60 rupees. Will you try? Open the chests in the proper order. Your locations offer a clue. Look carefully. Okay. So these are the locations of the dungeons. So this is the first one. I believe this is the second. Things get hazy from here. That's five. Eight's in the top left. Darn. Okay. So I got six and seven mixed up. Now I'm moderately confused. I have to imagine that if I was opening these first five in the wrong order, 
would be giving me a no, that's wrong. Oh, I guess the top left is six, isn't it? Incredible. You have met the challenge. For all of that, I have acquired a ring. Okay. Why no potion? Oh well. We're actually only missing two heart pieces in the entire game. <laughs> I do want to see what this ring from the hero's cave is, though. Our ring level three. Heck of a ring, that. into the trading sequence. Interesting. So, apparently, that King Zora secret gets you the upgraded sword, or gets you a sword upgrade early in, or gets, you, gets your sword upgraded in Oracle of Ages. That is the words. That being said, we're exactly in the right place to move forward with this trading quest. No matter how frightening it is, you must not lose hope. Hope is the one thing that can lead you to peace. Thanks, Zelda. Whoops.
apparently. One thing we can get. Oh. This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with cashew nuts now. Ah. Is not the right place? Nah, I'm not going to plant another thing. Clouds up north are moving in strange ways. It gives me a bad feeling. Let's work hard to prepare for the day Zelda returns. Are you referring to returning here? Trying to hear Princess Zelda. I have to see Princess Zelda. I'll never give up hope. I'm happy for you all. Where the heck is the mayor's wife? I see. There. Bold of me to assume I would find the mayor's wife in the mayor's home. Insert the Lorax credit sequence here. Oof. Hopefully I'll be able to get back up somewhere around here. Not good. I have a feeling I know what the next couple of steps of this quest are going to be. Oh, it's so hot. Even sitting by my prized soothing pool doesn't help. I need something creepy to send chills down my spine. Oh my, that doll. It's so ghastly it gives me chills. Let me have it. Smart boy. Here, take this fine iron pot. It is well seasoned. No. Okay, before I commit to this. Okay, no, it'd be more convenient for me to like go over there. So, over there we go. A healing ring may not be as useful as it could be in dungeons, but it sure is useful when I'm just wandering around the overworld looking for stuff. Off we go to Sabrosia. We'll need to get to somewhere over there. But, we pretty much have everything we need to get across Sabrosia, no matter where we come in. 
So it should be good. There's all sorts of secrets and such that I won't be showcasing. I mean, literally, secrets and such. <laughs> Since I'm not playing for 100% on stream. The ways the Oracle games interact are really fascinating to me, and I don't know of a lot of documented playthroughs that show everything. For a while I was thinking of almost doing a Chugga Conroy style multi-playthrough series of these as a more traditional Let's Play, but showing everything in both games would require you to play through each game twice, which is a lot. They're good games, but it's a lot. It would either be a very long-running series, or, you know, a series that was split up over a few different instances. Anyway, if I had all the ingredients, I could treat you to a tasty soup. Not without a fine iron pot that's well-seasoned. Hey, that pot. It's just what I need. A pot. Like that would make a great soup. Leave it to me. Yes, leave it to me. Just wait. Think Clank Plopper. That's it! The lava and iron create a harmony of flavors. Your lava soup is ready. It's molten hot. So, I'm fairly certain that... Huh. Anyway, I'm fairly certain that that goes to Bigoron since he's been complaining of a stuffy nose. I've actually seen, I think I've referenced this before, but I've seen a really interesting looking... Ah, yes. Well, all we needed was to get out of there. Anyway, really interesting looking lava soup recipe online. I might have to try it sometime soon. But... It would be tough to justify preparing it for my family, because there's at least one person in my family who does not like spicy things, and I'm fairly certain that that's how the lava part of the lava soup comes through in that case. Time to fight fish. So this is one thing, I've been, I mentioned this before as well, I've been replaying the entire Zelda series since I realized that, you know, I'm already halfway to playing the entire Zelda series in one calendar year. I may as well go all the way there. So I finished replaying Four Swords Adventures the other day, and it was throwing me off like nothing else that in the underwater side-scrolling parts of that game, you can't use your sword. Either that or my GameCube controller just didn't want to cooperate with me at all. But whatever the case may be, You never get any way to breathe underwater in Four Swords Adventures, so usually, pretty much in every instance, you go underwater and you have a 10 second time limit, which means if you run into a fish, you're going to be hard pressed to actually get where you need to go. So that was annoying. I'm all stuffed up. So cool. 
You have anything that can warm a body up? Oh, that smells good. Can I have that soup? Lava soup. Sure. It's a harmony of flavors. Thanks to you, I'm all better. Take this as a symbol of my gratitude. Goron base. It's a very nice face. Actually, yeah, it's still gonna be faster to warp back, but we just passed by the house of the person who wants this. So we'll just head over this way. So this is the base collector's house. Shoot, that big Goron. No matter how often I ask, he won't give me his vase. I give my dinner for it. Fish. The, that vase? Give me that vase, please. I'm begging you. Yahoo! It goes right in my collection. And thanks, here, take my dinner. My last fish. Fish achieved. That vase there now? Yes. I don't know who wants a fish. Right. I do know who wants a fish. I had just forgotten. So, a little north of Horon Village? We can find Old Man yelling at Cat. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down. If only I had her favorite treat. Fish! Hey there, you have a fish. It's Mittens' favorite food. Is that for her? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Mittens, here Mittens. Oh, good kitty. Thank you. Oh, yes, a reward. Here, take this megaphone. Well, it looks like we're going back over there. Because we need to use this megaphone to wake somebody up. And if there's one person who's asleep in more Zelda games than Link is... It's Talon. Whoops. Or till on. I don't know, I always pronounce... I guess I don't say Milan's name very much. I don't know how I always pronounce her name, but I always say Lon Lon Ranch. So it makes sense to be Mal Malon and Talon. Or Milan and Talon. But that does sound bizarre. Just double check. Hmm. 
Okay, that's a season change, so we don't want to go over there. We need we need to get up that way. Rude. I think we need spring. Which means we're going the long way around. Which fortunately doesn't take very long. I slept clean through winter. Now oh, I can't get to the summit. Oh well. I'll go back home to Milan. I'll take that megaphone if you don't need it. A mushroom instead. Yay. And a ring. The internet's being so weird today. I'll probably reboot the router before I stream tomorrow. Actually, do we have to go down here to get up there? No. No, I'm a fool. Okay, but how do I get up there? What am I missing? Changing the seasons. That makes sense. Thorley, it's okay for me to change seasons in a completely waterlogged village for my own convenience. be at my side. If Mabel were here, I'd send her to Mount Kuko for mushrooms. But since she hasn't come back, I can't make my magic potion. That's sent! You've got a mushroom! I'll trade my wooden bird, how about it? Hee hee hee! I can finally make my magic potion. Guess I'll open the shop soon. Hi, um... It's great when your hearts run out. There we go. No. And we know who needs this one.
need to go... Actually, let's appraise this ring. Just real quick. It's a Grosian ring. to make a cuckoo clock better than any before, but I can't find a wooden bird that I like. Well, it's just breathtaking. You! That's an amazing bird you have! May I? Breathtaking. Here, take this. Engine grease. Everyone loves fiddling with engines. too far for this one. Oh. Oh, hey, that's one of the pieces of heart we're missing. go around more quickly. Engine grease. Will that make it go quickly? Yeah, probably. Really? Take my phonograph. Oh, gracious. I'm the senior pupil of Troy, Libranus biologist. Listen to my request. I'm very busy, so I want you to tell this secret to Dr. Troy up on Rolling Ridge in Libranus. You got that? This is it. <laughs> Understand? thing. Okay, so now I want to get up there. Okay, all we need is for it to be winter. Gives us the second to last piece of heart in the game. Oh, I see. We might do that then. back up to Tarn Ruins.
Hopefully not too far into Tower Ruins. Actually, Winter probably makes the most sense. I think we need Winter to get up on the left side, if I remember right. The Tarn Ruins music reminds me of one of the unused tracks from Cave Story. There was not a Lionel here the first time. Certainly not a gold Lionel. All that in one heart. Wow. And just to make sure I'm being thorough... I wonder if that's... either a rare spawn or only in winter. Because I remember the Dark Notes being there. Oh. Cool. Are you correct? Okay, you're just the west, south, east, north. Lost Woods. Right, this place is full of like-likes. Ah, good. See, what a tune! I love it! I'll teach you the way to my sacred spot. If temperatures rise as you go far to the west, you'll find it. Okay. If I'm interpreting that correctly, that means I need to make this winter, the west, and make it fall. Go west, go to spring, west again. And finally, summer, and west one more time. Yep. We have the noble sword. So that's the end of the trading quest there. There's something more that I want to do other than just finding the first, well, the final heart piece. And I could review footage for this instead, but that doesn't seem like an optimal solution.
Oh, right, we get sword beams. Okay. I'll figure that out shortly. Pilot through the pot mash you were in. Where's this take me? Okay, I figured as much. That doesn't help me. And it won't take us too long to get back to specifically the part where we can get to the secret we need. This is elegantly terrible. We'll get to that in a minute. I want to see... This doesn't look familiar. I want to see if I can find that last piece of heart. There aren't many pieces of heart in the game. So despite it being kind of difficult to pick up a guide partway through the game and figure out which one I'm missing, I think we should be able to here.
I think I changed the season at the wrong stump. Back to winter. Okay, I think we're looking at this one. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, I don't think we've done this. There we go. Max health. Now we're finally almost ready to go to the final dungeon. Lagoon, you finally gathered all the essences of nature. You're a true hero who understands the essences of nature. You're hope for all that live. Take this seed. Lagoon. First, you must defeat Onyx, General of Darkness, and save the Oracle of Seasons, Din. Din's help, perhaps you can reach Twin Rova. Good luck, Lagoo. <laughs> Some hero. I wasn't prepared for plot yet. Come if you dare, Lagoo. If you are their so called hero, then their hero is no match for my powers of darkness. <laughs> Lagoon, final trial has come. Head north to the temple ruins shrouded in darkness. Onyx's castle is there. Please bring Din back safely. You understand the essences of seasons and ages. May the protection of the Triforce be with you. Okay, but... What we want to do... Is actually save and quit. and pull up the other game. In which we're also only missing two.
we need to go see Zor the Zora King. Do you need me, Great Mermaid? Okay. Five. Asterisk. Capital F F. Pound. Oh, a secret from the Zora. I sent Holodrum to find us a new domain. You have done well. Thank you. For your reward? Yes, lend me your sword. I shall sharpen it. And that makes this the Master Sword for some reason. I'll teach you the secrets to sharpening your sword in Holodrum 2. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a picture. Come back if you forget my secret. Okay, that's all we needed here. Sometimes, minor hardware shenanigans can be a very nice thing. Welcome, Lagoo. I'm Ferore, Oracle of Secrets. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. I can give shape to powerful secrets that I remember. Do you know the secret to moving through time? Um... I don't know. That'll work. Your secrets have called forth new power. Come again any time. So that's something that I forgot. That... The way secrets work in a linked game is that sometimes you'll have something you can take to the other game and then carry back over to the one that you're currently playing. Because the main reason that I hadn't... Actually, I think this is going to be a kind of obnoxious uh, point to try to access it from. Let's go over here instead. The reason I hadn't really been doing any of those secrets is that I thought it was just... Take them to Labrina and they'll do something there. That's not quite right. But at least I can show off in concept how those work. Naturally, if you start your game in Oracle of Seasons, and then go to Ages, there will be a different secret that you can take back to Seasons in order to do essentially the same thing. Now we should be able to come up this way. By the power of this seed. And the concept of nature. This would be slightly more dramatic if... There we go, the wavy effect was actually showing up on the recording. Meanwhile, <laughs> wandering about, foolish princess. <laughs> we found you, Princess Zelda. Hope for the people, we'll snuff it out, and you shall light the flame of despair. <laughs> A 
the sacrifice is in our grasp. When Zelda, the hope of the people, vanishes from Horon Village, this land will be stricken with despair. It is time. The flames of sorrow and destruction and the great sacrifice are united. If we sacrifice Zelda, all will fall into despair. Ho 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 ho! A light flame of despair. Awaken Ganon, evil king. Anyway. Oh ho ho, these can go step on a Lego. The Wizro behavior in this game is another one of those things that really speaks to this having started life as a Zelda 1 remake. I'll need that one boss from Link's Awakening. Yeah, I thought I remembered Onyx's castle being a lot more straightforward than the Tower of, a of Ages. It's too late, Lagoo. Zelda, our sacrifice, is in our grasp. Soon, no one will be able to stop the return of Ganon. Even you shall be destroyed by Onyx. Okay. So, to start, Onyx is swordproof. Okay. Magnet Glove's not doing anything. It is perhaps unsurprising that these don't affect him. Okay, bombs don't affect him. I wonder if I need to get him to stomp on these yellow buttons? That does not seem to have worked. I don't feel like these panels are yellow for no reason, though.
Okay, I can't pick up the ball. Ah, it's only vulnerable to spin attacks. That makes sense. Ugh. Don't think I've been beaten. Can you keep up this fight? This is what I was remembering. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not bad at all. But I'm done toying with you. I will show you my true might. Oh no, not the red-eyes black dragon. <laughs> I was summoned from the Dark Realm by Twinrova. See my true form. Feel the might of a dark dragon. Is this Yu-Gi-Oh or is this Fire Emblem? Still resistant to everything short of spin attacks. I'm not sure how I can avoid that. didn't go well. Gotta aim my jumps better, I guess. Wow, this is suddenly going terribly. Okay. So I avoid it by standing on the opposite side of the screen. Okay. Cannot hit with sword. Cannot block, must avoid. This is starting to become mildly problematic. Capture Din and deliver the destructive power of a seasonless land to Twinrova. Now is the flame of destruction. That power is set to devour this land. Thank you, Lagoo. I knew you could save me. Now that I'm free again, the season should return to normal.
Queen Rova called Onyx and Varen forth from their darkness. Their mission was to send the essences of nature and time into chaos. They were, hand they were to hand the to Twin Rova the sorrow, despair, and destruction of the people. But all has not ended yet. Twin Rova has Zelda. Go to her quickly. I sense a terrible evil. The hour has come! <laughs> the flame of despair burns! Thanks to Varen and Onyx, the flames of sorrow and destruction already flicker. And when we captured Zelda, the foolish humans gave us despair. Oh, flames of despair, destruction and sorrow, burn with the power of our evil deeds. <laughs> come, come, follow the light of the three flames. Emerge now from the darkest depths. Emerge again in Gerudo King. Good luck, Lagoo. Only you can defeat Twin Roba. Surely the powers of the Eight Essences will aid you. Your body is filled with the mystical power. Full heal, yay! I shall aid you. Oh, Hero of the Essences, do you remember Nehru, Oracle of Ages? You've beaten Onyx, but Twin Roba's plans have not failed. Hurry, the hour of the Evil King's return is near. The power of the oracles will guide you to Princess Zelda. You must defeat Twin Rova to prevent Ganon's revival. You will succeed, Lagoo. You must. May the divine protection of the Triforce be with you, young hero of the essences of nature and time. What happens if I just leave? Okay, so actually, what I'm gonna do real quick. Since I have the capacity to just leave, I'm gonna buy another potion. I'm not taking any chances. I don't remember much about the final boss fights for a linked game. But. They're tougher than Onyx, I know that much. So... Pleasure doing business with ya. Anyway. Now that I've slightly derailed all of the dramatic tension of this moment. Counting four facing up, three facing down, and three facing right. I'm gonna say up. Okay. Three up, four right, three down. Three left. Four down, three up. I think I might be doing something wrong here.
Maybe I need to go in the direction that none of them are facing? So since I see down, up, and left, well, and right here, I need to go left. That appears to have done something. Now none of them are facing up. None right. Still none right. None left. None right. None up. Cool. Uh-oh. So, Lagoo, you finally reached the altar. Bother! We can't have you scampering about up here. So we dragged you in here. The flames of sorrow, destruction, and despair burn brightly. The return of the evil King Ganon approaches. Our sacrifice of Zelda is all that remains. When we call Ganon's spirit into the vessel, it will be done. You can't stop us. Prepare to meet your doom! That's probably a problem. Okay. Yep. So, just like they're fighting Ocarina of Time, this revolves around hitting the wishes with each other's attacks. That is easier said than done in this case, considering that they're flying around like chickens with their heads cut off. Oh, 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 I did not think you would get so far, but I shall not fall like Onyx and Varen. See my true power! Oh, now they're combining. We'll sacrifice you so the evil king can return! Less sure on this part, however... Can I just hit you? No, I can't just hit you. Maybe I need to hit you enough times, and then... Yeah, when you do that, I think I need to... I think I need to hit with a... With one of their attacks at that point. Though maybe it's the Rod of Seasons. It's not the Rod of Seasons. They just don't... Like, my instinct would be... Hit several times and then hit with one of... No, their own attacks disappear at that point. Seeds of mystery work.
Which makes sense, because whatever, whatever they were going to use here had to be something that was available in both games. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Ganon's return was but a step away. Lagu, it is not over. Our rights have failed, but by sacrificing this body, Ganon will return. And you will be destroyed. <laughs> okay, so the good news is we beat Twinrova. The bad news is we don't have a potion left. <laughs> Destroy all. Kill all. So. It's your boy Ganon. He hits like a truck, and is approximately the size of one. The general idea here is that because Twin Rova was an imperfect sacrifice, he came back as just some rampaging monster instead of the more clever and cunning Ganondorf or any iteration of him before. He just kind of Anger Beast, which kind of makes him similar to Calamity Ganon, I guess. <laughs> I am Ganon, the evil king. Kind of just a shadow of the monster he could be. Twin Rove is a more complex fight. Lagoo. Has it ended? Thank you. Thank you. You halted the completion of the rites that would have revived Ganon. Since they could not sacrifice me in their final rite, the powers of darkness could only revive a mindless, raging Ganon. Your power, wisdom, and courage were able to prevent Twin Rope's plan to resurrect Ganon. Now hope and peace can return to the hearts of the people. Thank you. You're a true hero. Let us return to the others. So I guess they did kind of go through the same thing that I just did. Oh no, the castle is crumbling now that the powers of Shadow wane. We must get out of here. What do we do? Oh, we can start by moving. You did it, Lagoo. I'm so proud. Leave this to me. Oh, hi, Nehru. How'd you get here? See, Lagu, I've managed to help too. Good, good job. Welcome back, Princess Zelda. Welcome back, Lagu. Now all is finished. I knew you would find a way, Lagu. Let's dance together again. Princess Zelda, I am glad to see you return safely. Lagu, you are all I expected. I always believed in you. Lagu. The three triangles on your left hand symbolize power, wisdom, and courage. 
These are the mark of the hero who is fated to appear when peace crumbles in Hyrule. With the essences of nature and time, and the courage you possess, you have fought back the powers of evil. The guidance of the Triforce has made you into this legendary hero. Thank you, Lagoo. Well, that's Oracle of Seasons and the linked Oracle games together. Done. Um, I'll upload the recording of this stream as soon as it gets done. And we'll be starting a new project tomorrow. I just gotta get the backdrop and such ready for that. And probably do a little bit of testing, because it's on a system that I have not recorded from before. Which narrows it down immensely, actually. <laughs> but. Not that the projects that I take on, or the sequence thereof, are particularly mysterious. I just like keeping my secrets. Then Link learned to box so he could be a guest fighter in the next, next Punch-Out game. I really like the Oracle games. I know that I got frustrated with them at points. And I definitely think that Oracle of Ages is the harder game as far as the ending is concerned. Which I think made it a better game to start with. Since... Yeah, Onyx isn't as difficult as Varen, but then you have to deal with Twinrova and Ganon. And... Onyx probably would have been significantly more difficult if I hadn't gone out of my way to get the Master Sword first. He's just got a much more straightforward fight, especially given that I already knew the one tricky part, which was use the Rod of Seasons to bat away the crystal with Din, because if you don't, hitting that crystal deals damage to you instead of Onyx. But, yeah, I think that I do, I do prefer Oracle of Ages, for the most part, because it does have more original boss design, more, more of the puzzle solving focus than Oracle of Seasons. Not by too much. But it's still present, and that tends to be the part that I enjoy more compared to the combat. But... It's also, like I said, just super fascinating how the two games interconnect. I'm curious here if their initial implication was that Link's Awakening occurs immediately after these two games. Because there's been some toss-up 
in in terms of timeline placement for these. I mean, I know that the Zelda timeline is a vague, nebulous concept anyway, and a lot of people disagree with the way that it's set up. But... At least in the story that I'm working on, I have it so that um, Link to the Past leads into the Oracle games, and they lead into Link's Awakening. I mean, I'm only focusing on Link's Awakening, but there's that implication, or that there's a reference back to these games having happened. But all we know about Link in Link's Awakening is that he's traveling after a previous adventure, and I think that they have stated that Link in Link's Awakening is the same as the Link in Link to the Past. It's just a question of whether the Oracle games are a different Link, or also the same Link, and what order they occur in. But, again, that doesn't really matter that much. They work perfectly well on their own as stories for being what they are. And they're all good games. This does bring the... Zelda series on the channel for right now to a close. I figure since I've been streaming just about all of the 2D Zelda games since the start of the year, and I streamed Finish Cap last year, we could use a break. <laughs> Plus, I'm still trying to finish the rest of the Zelda series on my own time. So... Pokemon is going to continue on Saturday, and like I said, there's a new project starting tomorrow, should I get all the stuff for it done. Which I should be able to. I'm just going to make a backdrop for it. And then there should be some kind of variety stream of some sort on next Monday. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.